This video is an update uh, regarding my RIDI PSK Arduino transceiver I've been working at. In prior videos I showed how uh, I got the unit to uh, decode both RIDI and uh, PSK. So this is showing the layout of the system I've uh, developed. Right now I've got everything working and it's just a matter of now taking this and transferring it to an actual board that I'm going to etch myself. So first thing I'd like to do is just recap how it uh, decodes uh, RIDI and PSK. So at the heart of it is an Arduino Mega which uh, talks to a SI5351 DDS and a, a receiver shield and a, and a transmitter shield. All three of these shields are actually the Paul Darlington Kanga shields and uh, th they operate on uh, 40 meters. So basically the receiver takes a signal from the antenna, mixes it, and uh, outputs an audio uh, frequency. I filter that frequency using low-pass filters and uh, apply some gain to it and the Arduino samples that signal and then it uh, does the decode of the RIDI and PSK and I'll create another video to explain how that's done. One shortcoming of the receiver and transmitter shield since they are two uh, independent modules is that there is no antenna switching uh, capabilities between them and you have to build an external antenna switch. So what I did I used the design DIS uses over at Kits and Parts for his one water transceiver and basically what this does is that he combines a low pass filter with a band pass filter and he uses a couple of Schottky diodes to mute the um, transmitter signal that's coming into the band pass uh, filter. What I did was I also added a pin diode to that circuitry and that's controlled from the Arduino to further attenuate any signals coming from the transmitter. And then um, the low pass filter will be connected to an antenna, but for the testing situation it's, it's connected to a dummy load. For testing purposes I've been using a PC which has been connected serially to the Arduino Mega. And uh, basically I send uh, serial commands to the Arduino and I receive information back from the Arduino. So on the PC I'm running a simple terminal emulation program as well I'm running FL Digi there to generate um, uh, PSK and RIDI as well as uh, receive and decode PSK and RIDI. So the PC is connected um, via homebrew ICOM interface I've made to my ICOM 707 which is then connected to a dummy load. So this test system here I've been using to generate a PSK and RIDI which the Arduino and the various shields receives and decodes as well as receives RIDI and PSK that's generated from the shields. The Arduino Mega is connected to a 9340 TFT display and right here I'm showing how I've got the display set up. The, it's divided in, into three sections. The top section is giving a FFT spectrum display and that's going to help me tune the signal the RIDI or PSK signal which I need to decode into the audio passband. Next is going to be the data section of the display which will show things like frequency and uh, you know signal strength and so forth and then finally the decode window where uh, the PSK and RIDI will be uh, uh, decoded. I'll, I'll control the Arduino Mega using an Android phone connected to an HCO5 Bluetooth module. The phone will send various commands to the Bluetooth module which sends that those commands via TTY to the Arduino Mega. In addition the Android phone acts as a keyboard where I can type in uh, what uh, data I need to send out um, via RIDI or PSK.
So here's the prototype I've developed. It's uh, quite messy. It's a bunch of uh, wires jumbled together. But the good news is it works and it's a really good proof of concept. At the heart is the radio shields and the Arduino Mega which are connected to the combined low pass filter, band pass filter that are using diodes to do the transmit receive switching. The Arduino is connected to an LCD panel and there's some circuitry here which is doing level shift shifting because the panel operates in 3.3 volts and the Arduino is operating on 5 volts. The Arduino is also connected to a rotary encoder and I've got some hardware debalancing here. And uh, here is, this is the analog filtering chain. So the receiver is spitting out uh, analog uh, frequencies which are then filtered, amplified, and then fed back to the Arduino's uh, ADC. I've also got here coming out a Bluetooth module which is going to talk to my phone and it'll send and receive commands and control the um, Arduino itself. Here's the layout of my TFT screen. There are three sections to the screen. The first part is where the spectrum gets displayed and I've got two types of uh, displays that I have. One is a wide band spectrum display and one is a sort of a narrow band display. Second window shows the uh, data, it shows the frequency, the increment that the rotary encoder uh, increments frequency by. There's a section for where an error gets displayed, the mode, and uh, uh, three numbers which give me an indication of the signal strength uh, correlation uh, values. And uh, this uh, is blue in receive mode and then it turns red in transmit mode and at the bottom here this is the decode window and of course right at the top there's a small little banner window there uh, can't really see it's a little bit blurry that uh, shows the uh, version and the program name so here's an example of the spectrum here there's uh, no signal coming in it's fairly flat all you're seeing is basically noise uh, coming in and there you can see that there are two black lines there so basically what I need to do is I need to tune whatever signal I see to get it into that uh, those two black bars uh, that's the passband for the audio filter that I'm using So here I'm actually sending some data and the uh, Arduino is receiving it and you can see in the window there's some peaks there which corresponds to various uh, PSK signals that's coming in. And you can see that right now I've got a signal that's um, right in the passband and uh, that can be uh, decoded. So here's the narrow band mode I was referring to you can see that there are two windows separated by this green line here the left hand side is actually showing um, the mark and space frequencies that the FFT is uh, generating and on the right hand side that's the mark and space frequency that my uh, correlation routine is is uh, predicting that's present so this uh, allows me to fine-tune uh, the tuning so I can get right on the specific frequency of the uh, transmission. And here you can see the uh, decode of PSK in the bottom window there. And uh, here's decode of RIDI. And here you can see RIDI being transmitted. And uh, there's a decode of RIDI in FL Digi from my ICOM.
And here's transmission of PSK. And here you can see PSK being received from my ICOM and being displayed in FL Digi. So this is showing the console that I use to interface with the Arduino and to control it. So this specifically is showing all the control codes that uh, can be sent across using Bluetooth to control the Arduino. So my Android phone will send those various codes across to the Arduino and the Arduino uses that to turn on you know the LCD display, turn on ready, transmit, receive and so forth. So that concludes this uh, video of the current configuration of my ready PSK transceiver. As I said my next step now is to take this mess here and uh, actually etch some boards and get this into a more manageable size and mount it into a case and uh, do some field testing to verify that this will actually work in the field as opposed to working on my test bench. Anyway, thanks for watching.